At Gort's Gouda Cheese, the cows graze on our organic fields and are brought into the milking parlor in the morning and afternoon to be milked. The fresh milk is then pumped into our cheese vat and processed into Gouda, Feta, Mazdamer, Parmesan, Beaufort, Yogurt and Quark. After the milk is pumped from the milk house and the temperature has reached 29 degrees Celsius, the cheesemaker adds a bacterial culture. Bacterial culture gives every cheese its different taste and texture. At this point, rennet is added. Rennet is a liquid coagulant that assists in thickening the milk. The gelled milk is then cut with big knives inside the vat to form curds and whey. The curd is then washed with warm water to shrink and firm them into the size of a pea. The curds are then stirred for up to 30 minutes. This process is done twice until the temperature is brought up to 36 degrees Celsius. The cheesemaker then checks to see if the curds are ripe enough to put into the forms. The curds and whey are then poured into the draining table. The curds are now topped with heated stainless steel plates to press the curds together. This takes about 15 minutes. When ready, the curds are cut into blocks and put into round molds that will form the cheese. The cheesemaker will make rounds of cheese into 4 kilogram wheels, 1 kilogram wheels called baby goudas, or 500 gram wheels called mini goudas. The cheeses are then pressed for up to two and a half hours, depending on the size. The cheesemaker then removes the lid and net from the molds and places the cheese back inside the mold. The cheeses are then left in the molds overnight to develop a crust, and the next day they are placed into brine tanks where, again depending on the size, they will stay up to five days. The salt is added at this stage. In the cheddar process, the salt is added earlier in the curd stage. The cheeses are then placed on a drying rack and drying shelves until they are dry enough to be vacuum packed, labeled, recorded, and put away on the shelves to age. The cheeses are ready to be sold at two months for mild, four months for a medium, and 12 months for an aged. When an extra aged is available, it's aged for 24 months. When the cheeses are ready to be sold, they are either cut into wedges, vacuum packed, labeled and sold to grocery stores, or the whole wheels are waxed with natural colored beeswax and sold in the wheel. Our cheeses, which are made from our own organic milk, contain only natural ingredients. No preservatives are added and they are all manufactured at our Salmon Arm Cheese Farm. Previous owner, Ari Gort, came from a long line of cheesemakers on his mother's side and has brought from the Netherlands the renowned Dutch tradition of making cheeses. New owners, Gary and Kathy Wickrink, continue to produce the high quality products that have made Gort's so popular with its loyal customers. Along with their six children, Gary and Kathy moved from Agassiz, B.C., where they had their own successful dairy farm. Our yogurt is made the old-fashioned way. The milk is pasteurized and cooled, then a bacterial culture is added, and the yogurt is left overnight for the starter to become active. Then, the next morning, the cheesemakers hang it up in cloth bags to let the whey drip out naturally to give our yogurt a thick and creamy consistency. The quark is made in a very similar manner, but a different bacterial culture is added and the quark is left hanging overnight for it to thicken. Quark is a German cream cheese, but is lighter and lower in fat than a Philly cream cheese. 
It is excellent used in any recipes that call for cream cheese. In 2004, Gortz sent their aged Gouda to the Canadian Cheese Grand Prix in Montreal and received the gold medal. We hope that you've enjoyed this quick summary of how we make our cheese and yogurt. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask any of our staff for the answers and visit our retail store at the front. You can also visit us online at gortzgoudacheese.bc.ca.